Good evening. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. In today's episode, a brand new Frauditor named Tyrant Terminator Audits gets locked out, educated, and trespassed all on his very first Friday. Hello everyone. It would seem that this forwarding virus is spreading yet again. The infection has reached a brand new person that has gone to the dark side. His name is Tyrant Terminator Audits. Notice the three exclamation marks at the end of his channel's name. He must mean business. What business that is, is as vague as all forwarders business, but he must mean it. However, don't despair just yet. His first fraud it didn't go so well as he was locked out and trespassed of a social security office. So we'll keep an eye on him, but I have a feeling he might just be his own worst enemy and eventually remove himself. We'll see. He then does a shout out to some of his heroes, whom he probably hopes will give him a shout out in return for more views and subscribers. You'll see in this video that he has all their language memorized and he's ready for his very first trespass. I'm not being here without a man. <laughs> Listen, man. And if you're recording right now. I am recording because you, you act like you're getting against aggressive. Federal, it's against federal if law. If you're going to get aggressive, I'm going to protect myself, sir. Call 911. So I'm going to let you know that right okay. now. Don't okay. touch me. Call 911. Call FBS. Call, yeah, if you, if you got to, you can call who you want to. Yeah, but don't let you know now. Don't touch me, man. Sir, you Robinson. To Huh? Are you the manager? Okay, like I just told this young man, I can't wear a mask. Okay, so then call us on the telephone. Everybody I have business to conduct here in the Social Security office. Okay, yeah, we can help you over oh. the phone. You, somebody need to talk to him because he seems like he's aggressive. And like I just no, told him, right. he did. He tried to reach for his hip. If he touched me, I'm going to protect myself. Sir, I've been That's all I'm going to say. I, as, as other people have seen the same thing. Now. Did you see him? Thank you. Thank you. Whatever. Sir, but well, whatever. Wait in the vestibule? No, I'm not going to wait in the vestibule because I have business con to, to conduct. Can't help you without a mask. What law is that, ma'am? Yeah, our Social Security. What law? Federal what regulation? What statute? It's a federal, it's a federal regulation. No. Okay, what's that statute? We don't need a statute, sir. Yeah, in order for it to be a law. Check, check in, the, in the doors. It's all over the place. Are you talking about signs? No. Oh, so doors are not laws. They are, sir. They're not laws. Yes. A, a mask is not a law. That's just a policy. It's a federal regulation. Call, call, um, we're calling. Yeah. We're calling up. Yeah. Yes, we're calling. It's okay. PD. Just wait there, okay? You calling Waukegan PD? Yep. We call uh -oh. whoever we need. To do they have Do they have like a contract with you guys to enforce law on federal property? I don't think so. We're also calling the federal. Police. Oh, okay, great. Well, then they educate you when they get here. Yeah, they'll educate you. Absolutely. Now I know precisely what I'm doing. Okay. Trust me. The problem there is that he thinks he knows what he's doing based on watching other forwarders. But it's the blind leading the blind, and the dumbass leading the dumbass. So he'll be the one who gets educated. I'm happy you do. Okay. I know it's the dreads, and you know, I expect all it's of us to be dumb. To do I'm not talking to you, man. It's got nothing to do with Anyway, you know, it's the dreads. They expect all of us with this skin color not to know our rights. Or when they say we're gonna call the police, they expect us to run. I encourage them to call them. Know oh, precisely what I'm doing. One nine one one. That's abusive services, sir. Nine one one is not an emergency. Where's the emergency? Nine one one is for emergency calls. I'm creating a disturbance because I'm invoking my rights to be here. Is that a disturbance? Where's the law that says that, sir? It's federal regulation. There's all over the door. Are you familiar with the DHS memo from 2018 that was redacted? That people have a right to be in federal buildings and record? You said I couldn't record. No. If you look out, look out all the doors, look right behind you. Right here? Photography, video prohibited. By federal title, four, title, 18, title 14. Video prohibited. So the DHS memo is, is insignificant, it's irrelevant. That is correct. And DHS is Department of Homeland Security. That's Department of Homeland Security, right there. Title 14. This right here? U.S. Title 14. 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna step out here and read it. Oh, it's in Spanish. This is this is in Spanish, sir. I see it said no cell phones right here. Thank you, but there's no law attached to it. Photography and video prohibited federal law. SSA policy prohibits taking pictures or video inside Social Security office without the express written consent of an authorized official of the agency. These rules apply to all devices with camera and video capability. So he's talking about a sign right here with no statue. Kind of see a statue here, but I don't know what this is all about. This is um, Spanish. <clears throat> Here's one. It's a federal offense to kill, kidnap, forcibly assault, intimidate, or interfere with designated federal employees while they are engaged in or account of the performance of their official duties. Violated or subject to criminal prosecution. Okay. No, that doesn't apply. Well, we don't see any, we don't see any signs. There's one over here. Now he's locking. That's a felony. Spoiler alert, he's not allowed back in at any point in the video. He's totally locked out. Now that you know that and know that he will be trespassed, you're probably wondering why you should continue watching. Well, because it's just so funny to see a foreigner get educated and trespassed after mouthing off like that. You can't lock, you can't lock, that's a fire hazard. You can't lock people inside of a building. Glad you did it though on camera. The police officer will educate him on this a bit later. Okay, I don't want to take away all the fun. Let's just watch. You're going to learn today, Robinson. Trust me. Trust me. He's, he's, he has locked a building. He's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 10, 14 people. He has locked 14 citizens inside of a building, which is a fire hazard. And his, the name of his company is Parsays Incorporation. Robinson. It's a straight up tyrant. And we turning the tables on tyrants. This is ridiculous, man. He then spends about 15 minutes waiting for the officer to show up while ranting and raving in the vestibule and being as butthurt as possible how a tyrant could possibly lock out such a fine and upstanding citizen that just wants to get YouTube clout and impress his heroes so that he can get more views and subscribers. Well, thanks to the power of video editing software, we could just beam to where the officer shows up. They right on time. Yeah. Walk Keegan PD. Part three, y'all. Uh turning the tables on all tyrants. Our rights will not be infringed on by anyone. Waukegan PD has just arrived. Let's see what they say. How you doing today, officer? Good, how are you, sir? All right, they called you for me. Oh, okay, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, man, uh, what's your name? And uh, Baker, 714. How you doing today, sir? Uh, this is the thing, I'm coming here to uh, conduct official business. Okay. Uh, this young man right here, not, not really him, but him, he said that uh, it's against the law First of all, to record in a public building, which I know that to be false. The second thing he said is I can't enter the building without a face mask. I told him medically I can't wear a face mask. Okay. Governor Pierce has made that very clear for people that has medical right. conditions. Right. I tried to explain that to him. However, I'm still being denied to conduct my official business here at the Social Security Administration okay. office. Okay. 
two things. I was going to talk to them about the face mask issue. Okay. They have a right to, to ask you not to use your phone when, you, when you're inside. They do. It's, it's their building. That's that's how they're running their business. This is actually a federal building. So That's, a, I, that's I, another thing I was yeah. about to say um, in terms of uh, of that right there. Do, do the city of Waukegan have any type of contract with the Social Security Administration? Because I know you guys are out of jurisdiction right now. Right. To, right. So, so I don't even know why would they call you guys because you can't enforce anything on this property. It, and that's just respectfully, sir. Right. No, I, yeah. I, I understand that. So if they're having an issue, somebody they want them to leave, they don't have to just leave the person in there because it's a federal building. We have jurisdiction in that this is in the city of Waukegan. Right. And if they want to sign a complaint to get somebody trespassing, they can do that. But was, so, well, tresp- tre- tre- real quick, Officer Baker, trespassing is a secondary charge. Uh, no, it's not. Well, you can't trespass me minus a crime. I didn't. There's, there's no. I didn't commit a crime, so you can't just say we want him trespass. You okay. can't. That's, that's that'd be illegal, and it'd be a violation of my rights. It's not. So, for example, if I am on your property, no matter what the property is, whatever, and you want me to leave, I can't say, "Well, I haven't committed a crime." You can't tell me to leave because it's private property, Baker. This is public. We talking about public and private. Okay. If you, if, if, if they do try to get you to violate, uh, violate my rights today. Then it's gonna come down on you because the, because it's on them right now. Sir, I haven't even talked to them yet. No, I'm just saying. But I'm, well, when you brought trespassing, like you're gonna go solicit that. I'm not soliciting anything. Well, why would you say trespassing? They didn't say they didn't say nothing. You about asked it. me if you asked me what it was that I what if I had jurisdiction here, and I was just I, that was an example. Oh, okay, okay, the trespassing part. Yeah, yeah, because I was wondering why would you bring it, that it, up. It's an, it was an example. Okay, okay. Oh, so you're gonna speak with them, then you'll I'm be speaking to figure out what's going on. Okay. So if they're telling you that they don't want you to come in because you're using your phone. I'm going to see. Let's try to let's let's try to get you to be able to take care of your business. Uh, of course, that's exactly so, what I want to do. Right. So if they say he can come in without the phone, okay, why don't we start there? Okay, because okay. I'm not gonna I'm going to continue to record because I have a right to. There's a DHS memo put out from by, by the Department of Homeland Security saying that we can record in public buildings, all government federal federal buildings, corridors, auditoriums, lobbies, and things of that nature, and that's precisely what I'm doing today. I know precisely what I'm doing today. Okay. What is it? Go ahead. Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's not even a law. You say this that's a policy. The policy does not supersede the law. They're turning people away from a public building for a policy. That's a violation, sir. What is it you're trying to accomplish here today? I have to I have a calculus of things to do here today. Okay. A calculus. And it, and, it, and, it, and it involves me talking to someone other than security to um, do my business here. They're, they're just security. Actually, their job is just to observe, uh, observe and report. Okay. But they're stopping me from conducting my business here at a public building. And that's exactly what he did. He observed a dumbass fraudulent. He reported the dumbass fraudulent to the police. And then he locked your ass out to keep your dumbass from creating more of a disturbance. I'd say the security guard did exactly what he was supposed to do. Okay. The reason why they don't allow cell phones in here is because of the type of business that people are conducting. For example, they won't want me on my phone recording if you're up here talking about your social security number or what business you have. That's why they do that for okay. for your protection and everybody else's. Okay. That's why they don't want you to record in here. So they're probably not going to let you in if you decide to record. The mask issue, I can talk to them about, see if I can't get around that, because you do have a medical issue. Right? Of course I do. And that I agree with you 100%. I appreciate but, that. But also. the phone thing, they do have a right to do that because of the type of business that they're conducting here and the type of building that it is. That's, that's, they have a right to do that. Right. Now, I, 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 now I understand if I'm recording sensitive information or going into restricted areas. I would just stay in the publicly accessible areas and not recording anybody's business. That's that's the only that's the only where I would be. That's going to be up to them whether they okay. want you in or not. Okay. We'll All right. Appreciate it. No problem. One thing at a time, okay? Okay. So they're they're saying do you have some kind of proof to show that you have a medical condition? Uh what he, you he tell actually, me is I promise you I just told them that. Well I already know. Now, did he ask you that? Yes. But that's a HIPAA violation. I, that's that's, that's exactly what that is. Exactly what I told him. Wow, I can't believe he said that. Yeah. Wow. I said he's not gonna he's not gonna prove to me or you, and I said that this is exactly what he's gonna say is that's a HIPAA violation. Uh, for you not for for you to have to show him or prove him that you have a medical issue. Sir, what I would do is I would I, I would go online and see if you can go online and get whatever services you need done that way. Because okay. they're not gonna be willing to help you. I can't make them help you any more than I can make you make you go away. And all you're gonna be doing is standing here the whole night or the whole afternoon. Well, you, I, I don't I, I don't I don't want you to do that. So that's that's the only thing that I can suggest to you at, at this point in time. 
Okay, well, uh, I understand what you're saying, uh, Officer Baker. You're trying to de-escalate the situation. You've been the, very the professional. Best I can. You've been very professional, but these guys right here, they, and not him as much, but this guy, he's yeah. a, he's a straight up tyrant, man. He's straight up tyrannical. His behavior is he, the man went for his hip and everything. I wouldn't even be an aggressive with him or anything. So that that that's a concern as well. But what I'm what I would tell you is uh maybe uh maybe we should be uh contact FPS. Just just so they can educate these young men on my rights and what I have a right to do. Yeah, because a, I know I understand your position. Right. If you have a complaint against what they're doing, I would definitely contact them and let them know. Well, I mean like even here on the scene, like they because they called you guys, but they really supposed to call FPS. Because the FPF is here, they would educate them and tell them I can. They'll let me in, but you can't. I understand that right. why you can't, but they will. You get what I'm saying? Right. Do you want to give them a call while we're standing here? Um, I don't want to. I don't really want to stop recording. Can you um, use my phone to call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, officer. Do uh, you, Do you got their number or? I do not. Okay. It's a smartphone. You can Google it here. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, because then that'll be you know uh, we'll, we'll we'll be able to see exactly. What's going on? Okay, appreciate it. Do I put FPS Waukegan or just FPS all the way? I would just start Google FPS. I okay, guess. FPS. Okay, guys, we're uh, we contacting the FPS. The officer was nice enough to let me use his phone. I'm um, gonna see what they say. I have no problem with doing the right thing, uh, but the other people have to uh, do the right thing as well. So we're gonna see. Huh? Man, come on, man. I, hey, the, the officer was nice enough to let me use his phone. I'm calling for Federal Protective Services myself, man. I ain't got time to play with these people. For sure. And again, the guy is still locking the door. Make sure I tell Waukegan PD that he's locking people inside of a building, which is a, which is a, a fire hazard. No one's answering. I mean, please enter the area code and phone number. No one's answering. Yeah, this is ridiculous, man. Now I got the officer's phone. Sergeant, 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 you want to return your phone? All right, officer. They've got somebody on the line from FPS, so okay. they're going to call me. They're going to call you. They should be calling me shortly, yeah. Okay. Uh, are, did they say anything about possibly showing up? or? No, I, he's talking to them now. I haven't talked to them at all. I okay. Said, can you please give them my number and have them give me a call? So okay. We can, so we can talk, so we can figure, it out. figure out what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, you know, he tried to show me like this right here. Yeah, uh, the photography, video, you know, prohibited and things of the nature, federal. Uh, right. But all this is is a policy, though, officer. Do you see there's no statue attached? So uh, my thing is, I understand about a policy, but it, it doesn't supersede the Constitution. It, it, and it never will. And uh, even FPS and Waukegan PD, you guys sworn an oath to uphold the Constitution. Mm -hmm. You can't uh, enforce policy because y'all law enforcement. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was trying to convey to the young man, but... I'm not. To, I'm not enforcing their. Policy. Of course, you're not. No, no, you're not. Of course not. You're not. But I mean, sometimes cops do. They come in and say, "Well, this is how it's going to be, and if you don't do this, then we're going to do this to you." And you know, it gets all out of you know, it gets haywire. So, uh, I, all I want to do is just conduct my official business at a public building, which I have a right to do. Uh, I want to go on about my way unmolested. That's it. That's it. That, <laughs> You know what, officer? Oh, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, that's that's okay. another thing too, as well. Uh, before you got here, these guys were locking the door uh, to prevent me from coming in. But 
that's a fire hazard to lock people inside as, of a building. As long as they're standing there and they're unlo unlocking the door. If they left it unlocked, that would be an issue. As long as they're standing there unlocking the door, people come in, that, that, that wouldn't be against the fire code. It, it, it wouldn't be. Not to even lock it at all? If, if somebody's standing here that can unlock the door, yeah, no, it wouldn't be. If they locked the door and walked away from it and just left it locked, that would be an issue. Well, they do do that. They'll lock it, and then when somebody comes to the door, I mean, but they won't be by the door. It's, it's not supposed to be locked at all. Right, but the door can be unlocked from the inside. Yeah, you know yeah it could be. So if, it, if, it was, if there was a key on the in, if, if there was a key to get out, that would be against code. But because you can get out. Okay, I'm going to have to check into that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I went to a, just to give you an example, I went to a, a, a home where, I, for lack of a better phrase, there was, um, people that had mental incapacities, right? Okay. And Isn't it interesting that the first example that the officer could think of is going to a home consisting of people with mental incapacities? I wonder what made him think of that. They were locking the door from the inside. Oh. The key oh. On the inside. And so that became an issue. And I said, because they were trying to keep one person in. I said, oh. you, you, you cannot put everybody in danger for one person. I said, that one person wants to leave. You can call us and do the best we can to help you out. Right. But you can't lock people in. Everybody, right, right. Because there's, there's, you know, there's 10 people there and there's one staff member, right? Right. And she's doing a bunch of other things, whatever. So if a fire happens, right? Right. And she goes out the front door, now you got an issue. Right? That's true. So if that door, if, if they can get to the door, unlock it and get out, that's not. Okay. It's just like. Just like if you had a if you had a house in Waukee and it, that would that wouldn't be up to code if your locks locked like that. A lot of older houses have that. My grandmother's house was like That's that. True. Because they want you to be able to get out. So as long as you can unlock that door and get out, you're fine. If you can't unlock the door, then that is an issue. So okay. if something happened and one of these people's like, I gotta get the hell out of here, they could get up, unlock the door and get out. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. It definitely makes sense. <clears throat> I'm just recording, sir. I'm not doing anything. Can you give me a please? Can you give me a minute? I, Officer Baker, I, I understand your position, but I don't. I don't want my rights infringed upon. Your rights aren't being infringed. He's telling me to stop recording right now. I'm just asking if you could just step outside. I'll I, tell you respectfully, I, I don't want I'll to. I'll play back the video for you. I understand. I'm a FOIA request that. I understand that, but I, I don't want him to infringe on my rights just because he think he can. What right is he infringing on right now? He's telling me to stop recording. Okay. I have a First Amendment right to record in public, sir. So just because he's asking, I'm, I, I decline the offer. We all are. Yeah, I hear you. All right, sir. My name is Mr. Diaz. I'm the assistant district manager. What's here. your name again, sir? Mr. Okay. Diaz. Mr. What is Diaz. your name? Uh, I'm not going to give you your name. My name at, that, yeah, at this okay. time. Okay, what I need for you to do, if you're not going to wear a mask and you're recording, yeah, you're going to have to exit federal property. If okay. you don't exit... Um, you'll be arrested for trespassing. I'll be arrested for okay. trespassing. And there are services we can help you online at okay. www.ssa.gov okay. for alternate services, okay? Okay, what's your position right. here? Thank you, sir. So, so, so there's no, there's no, um... Again, you'll be arrested if you don't exit federal property. Thank you. So I can't come conduct my business? I would say that's a no. So who's going to arrest me? Because you guys, you guys don't have jurisdiction. It's to arrest. a complaint we do. That's nope. what I just checked on. So, okay, but, okay, so, okay, I'm going to leave now. Okay. So this is what I'm going to say to you, Officer Baker. Okay. It's been conveyed to me from the manager mm -hmm. that if I don't leave, I will be arrested. Right. For, for what What will be the charge? Criminal trespass. It'll be criminal trespass. So am I trespassed now? Yes. I'm, tr I'm officially trespassed? Yes. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Um, if you can, before I leave, uh, can you get this young man's name? And the other young, the security guard that's here, and his name again, so I can call and make my complaint. Sure. What I would like to do is do. I would. I would like to make a report. Can I get your information so I can make? Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. But I just want their contact information. No problem. Yeah. That will, that will, it's all going to be in the report. Okay. Right and then you give me the uh, report number. Hundred percent. Okay, for sure. Thanks a, a lot. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So uh, that's it. Uh, I'm at the Waukegan um, Social Security Administration office. Um, I've been officially trespassed from a public building, uh, minus a crime. This calls for my small violin and some sad music. Let me cue that now. Um, you guys stay in tune with me. Um, we're definitely going to um, look into this, look into this matter. We're going to file a complaint, official complaint. 
uh, this this is tyrannical behavior. Um, you know, they're they're here and trying to enforce policies. They even had the Waukegan Police Department come up and enforce their policy, which is mask, wearing a mask, and uh, wearing a mask, and 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 um, what they say. What's the other one? Uh, mine going kind of blank here a little bit because I just can't believe what happened. But wearing a mask and no recording, even though there's no law with either of those things stating that it's against the law. So again, we're we're at the Waukegan Police, I mean the Waukegan um, Social Security Administration Office here in Waukegan, Illinois, um, conducting a First Amendment audit. Uh, I've been denied access to a public building. On top of it, I have been officially trespassed. Sergeant Baker conveyed that to me. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on from there. Uh, you guys stay in tune. We're going to be doing these an awful lot everywhere. Because like I said, again, we will not let no one infringe on our rights at any time by anybody. We're, we're turning the tables on all tyrants. Period. All right, gang. Go on. Well, my whole video was actually a combination, excuse me, of four parts on his channel, and they were the only videos he has so far, but I'll be keeping an eye on him and see what else he comes up with. I have to go get another tissue now. Okay, I'm better now. For this segment of the Further Fatigue Cool Down, upon request, I present to you British Short Hair Cats. <laughs> 